It's Lakers Nuggets in the first round. What can we expect? We discuss on STN TV. All right, welcome on inside Voice of the Nation Fast Break. My name is David Brickley, joined by Kevin Figures, and we now know it took to the final game of the regular season, but we now know the Lakers will face the Denver Nuggets in the first round of the playoffs. What stands out to you most when you hear that matchup? Uh, speed, especially from the Denver Nuggets standpoint. That's the way they play, the speed and hustle. You have guys like Kenneth Fareed, uh, guys like like uh, Danilo Gallinari, who uh, get a lot of rebounds. They hustle, they rumble down the floor. The Lakers are more of a slow down, you know, right. grind it out, half court type of team. So it's kind of a contrast of styles here. Now the Lakers owned the season series, I believe, three games to one Correct. in the regular season. The one game they did lose was the controversial uh, Kobe Bryant. What was he six for twenty something from the field? And it was a close game, and the Lakers lost. But the Lakers really should win this series based on the fact they have a, a much bigger front line well, than Denver does. And you mentioned Kobe. He had a pretty tough time against the Denver Nuggets. Yeah. Uh, he In three games, he was out that fourth game they played uh, earlier the, or later this season. But he's averaging just 18 points per game on 28% field goal percentage. Yeah. Bynum and Gasol have been absolutely unstoppable in this season series. Bynum 24-12 on 66% shooting. Gasol 16-11 on 54% shooting. So if I'm Mike Brown, not only is this your game plan going into every series, but especially against the Nuggets, they have nobody that can guard Gasol and Bynum. Sure, and they even made a trade at the trade deadline. They traded Nene for JaVale McGee, who was a solid shot blocker, right. but still is not going to be able to body up either Gasol or Bynum in the low post. So that, that's where the, the giant mismatch is for the Los Angeles Lakers. So if they, they pound the, the uh, ball into the paint, they really should have no problem winning, winning the series, to be honest with you. So game one Sunday uh, at Staples Center. Game two will be Tuesday, May 1st at Staples Center as well. This is the biggest storyline, I think, is how many games will it take to beat the Denver Nuggets? Now, Laker fans would like it if it was a sweep in most scenarios. <laughs> sure. But Meta World Peace is out for six games. And if you don't have Meta World Peace in the second round versus Oklahoma City, you hate to look ahead, but it looks like the Lakers will take care of Denver. You almost want, like Jason mentioned earlier this week, you almost want this series to go six games <laughs> so Meta is ready for game one of the second round. Because if not, that could be the difference. Meta misses game one and game two next round. Thunder already up 2-0. The series is over. Now we're not in many a tank job of some uh, sort of, of losing games on, you know, somebody, oh, oh I hurt my ankle. I got to sit out for this game. We're going to lose this one and go back to L.A. for a game. It's not one of those situations. Where no, in, in where the we... playoffs, you can't do that. You can't afford to do that. That would be ridiculous. Right. But I'm just saying, if for some reason the Lakers came out lackadaisical in game three and lost in Denver and now it turns into a longer series, I think Mitch Kupchak, Jim Buss, these guys are saying, okay, as yeah. long as we win, I, I don't really care. I will answer it this way. It will be more advantageous for them right. to win this game. But win they're this not going to go out. Six games. They're not going to go right. out and try to lose games. But it will be more advantageous for them to, like you said, go into the second round facing Oklahoma City more than likely and have be at full strength to have Metta World please back healthy for them. So Kobe didn't really shoot that great percentage in the in the season series. The Lakers outscored Denver just by a point, 94.5 to 93.5. All close games, each and every one of them. What do you got? What's uh, what's your first prediction on this uh, first round? Series? I'm going to say the Lakers in five games. I think Kobe yeah. Bryant's going to realize to you know get the ball inside to the paint. The guys are unstoppable down there. He doesn't need to. And I think Kobe Bryant, in, his, in these the last couple of games he came back, realized I don't need to take over the game all the time. I have two guys I can go to. I can rely now, on. How about ball. also the Devin Ebanks factor as well? This guy was pretty much a Mike Brown's doghouse for right. a majority of the season started playing recently and now he has to play has to start yeah. Mike Brown has said he's going to start Ebanks at the three and continue to bring Matt Barnes off the bench which I think is a good way to go Ebanks has kind of done a good job playing his role coming in off uh, in the starting lineup started at the two guard when Kobe was out and then obviously he's going to continue to start now with Meta World Peace out if he just plays his plays his role plays some defense uh, fill some lanes Kind of like what Matt Barnes does. He just stays active, gets some offensive rebounds. If he plays that role, I think he'll do a solid enough job for them in the postseason. Remind me, last year, first round, New Orleans, that took six to get them out of the It playoffs, was six, right? yes. Some Herculean efforts by Chris it's, Paul uh, in that series, It's too. an easy way to go, but I'm going to say six games because okay. I think Denver steals a couple up uh, up in the Mile High City. But uh, it likely. could be early. Si anything after after five is a longer series. Uh, a short series would obviously be a sweep sure. or five games. But six games, again, that meta world peace factor. <laughs> would have them at full strength uh, for their second round. So we want to hear from you. How many games do you think it will take for the Lakers to beat the Denver Nuggets? Or possibly you might think Denver is going to shock the world. Who knows? So make sure to comment below, like this video, and, of course, subscribe to our channel. For Kevin Figures, my name is David Dick.